Remember, soil's alive, dirt's dead. I grow soil. No sense growing dirt. Once again, we're bringing you another episode of Soil King Showcase. We've moved from the Hollywood studio to the new Cloverwood studio. It's not quite finished yet, but that's okay because we still got a job to do and we're gonna get it done. Right behind me is a product I wanna share with the Cannabis Culture family. It's been brought to my attention through a lot of very well-respected growers. They're getting behind this product. And if they can get behind this product, I can get behind this product. Let's quit talking about it. <laughs> Let's go meet this dude. What's up, Brian, man? Thank you, brother. Thank you for coming down here. Thank you for having bringing me. Bringing all these trim machines, all this new innovative stuff to our industry. I mean, what do we got right now? We've got a whole line of harvesting tools just to help you get through the season, save you some time, some money. Bam, so uh, this product is looking really dank right here. Can I touch it? Can I get into it? Please do. Let's see what we got. Put your nose in it. Familiar terpene profile right there. Let me call it, don't say anything. Man, those cats at Vital Horizon Farms. Sonoma County, Sonoma County growers right there. We're gonna have to brand them as a Sonoma County original grower. No doubt those. about that. Good love product, those. great product. We're gonna show our viewers what the Green Bros can do today, right? Some beautiful product right here out of local Sonoma. I'm excited, I'm really excited. We all know that hand trimming, being very gentle with your product, artesian style when you have really top AAA product is the best. Nobody's arguing with that. We have to find a better way. We have to be innovative. We have to get production out there. Man, time's of the essence nowadays, man. It's not old school like we used to do it. We really have to try to support companies that are trying to bring it down the line. Well, I agree 100%, Patrick. I think you hit the nail on the head. That's what our machines are designed to do. We're here to try to save you money and time without compromising the integrity of your product. So these solutions are there on two different levels. We have a 215 model series, which is a little bit more approachable for people who are on the boutique style or not necessarily large commercial growers. And we also have our 420 line that is there to suit the commercial grower as well. So we have machines in all aspects that actually with one crossover machine for wet and dry that we'll get into later about that. But yeah, definitely gonna show you the progression of our machines, how they can save you time and money without making your flower look like it's been abused or blade rash, so. That's what we wanna get into, man. I can't 100%. wait to see that. So one more thing I wanna add is that Green Bros is here with the Soil King because there's a number of respectable growers and farmers out there that have been saying, you know, you got to get behind these guys. We use their product and their product is really looking good. So we're sitting here today because of you farmers out there. You know who you are. We thank you. So Brian, tell me about this one. Well, this is our Canogen. This is our destemmer, bucking machine, stripper, whatever you like to call it in your particular region. It's, a, it's basically step one for our harvesting tools. It's gonna take all your flowers off of the stem and get them ready for our trimmers. Let me ask you a question. Of course. Fresh frozen. Let's talk about how it works with fresh frozen. Phenomenal. This not only works on cured product, but we have an ample amount of farmers that are using this right in the fields. Fresh frozen product, fresh frozen rosin. It's big now. People are growing just for that. So this is a machine that really comes into play. Very portable. It's only it's less than 30 pounds. So Runs you off of 25 watts. You can put this on the back of a Polaris with solar panels, marine batteries, whatever you like. I think I'm gonna have to take this out in the field and play with it for a while. Man, I mean, fresh frozen where it's at right now, there's a lot of farmers out there that are looking for products, help speed up that uh, process going into the extracts. So thank you for bringing this online. Definitely, instead of hauling in branches and trees, you could haul in totes of flour ready for the freezer. This particular model is our 215 that runs off of 25 watts. It processes two to four pounds an hour. Uh, you're looking at average load running about a pound per run for eight to 12 minute intervals. So you're looking at a real gentle uh, action happening in this machine, unlike any other machine. We have this actually taped down for safety and demonstration issues. But as you can take a look, I'm wearing gloves and I can press my hand and knuckles against this blade without even having to worry about 
cutting my hands. That's a beautiful thing. This machine works in a completely different manner than anything else out there. It's made to undress the leaves off your flower rather than to shave them. So there's no scissor or cutting action happening in this plant at all. It's just pulling dry leaves off and revealing a beautiful flower at that point. Awesome. Can I get some jelly bean in there? Yeah, let's do it. Bam, I'm excited. Some jelly bean right here out of Sonoma County. We're gonna go ahead and fire up. It's so quiet. So then we just put the lid down? Well, you can, that's how the machine is designed, but we have people who like to use it as a tool itself and with the ease of not having to worry about cutting your hands or damaging anything of that nature, then you can use it as a tool. You can get your hands in there. You can really control and manipulate what happens in this machine and not hope for the best, but you actually get to control what happens in here. Got it. Awesome. So while this is running, can we go run the big one? Let's take a look at the big one. Let's do it. I'm excited again. So this is the bad boy. This is for the serious farmers, for our commercial farmers. This is our 420 model. This does eight to 12 pounds an hour. It only runs off of 45 watts. You're still looking at running this off of a solar panel if you need to, but you're able to do eight to 12 pounds an hour on this machine. Just as quiet and just Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you could do eight to 12 pounds in an hour in this machine. Definitely. It's commercial Awful. application needed for the industry. Good Definitely. job, man, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, average farmers are putting 40 to 75 pounds uh, a day out of one of these machines. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Average farmer is putting in 45 to 80 pounds a day in one of these. One of these machines. Let me shake your hand again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. One revolution in this machine is actually equivalent to three revolutions in the smaller machine. Interesting. So you're looking at three times the load for sure. Interesting. Just as delicate, but you can slow it down to a crawl or all the way up to its full 20 revolutions per minute. With that same gentle 20 action. revolutions a minute, are we doing 160 pounds an hour? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's joking. Gentle as can be, low watts, but just with commercial output. Can we do it? Of course we can. Bam, I'm gonna go get it. So really it looks like we have a pound and a half, two pounds in there. I mean, you could load this up with how, how many pounds do you think? Yeah, we could, on average, about three pounds. We like to go either by volume, it could be about five gallon bucket, or about three pounds, depending on the density of your flower. Do we have any more of this product we can throw in there? Definitely, let's load her up. Let's do it. Drop in this tray. So let's go ahead and set the timer. I'm gonna put it over 10 minutes, maybe about 12 minutes or so. I'm gonna start it at about 70% speed. Okay. Just to get things going. Okay. Let's fire it up. We have a collection bin down below on both of our machines. On this particular model, we have a tote right underneath here that's gonna collect all your trim. And on our 215 model, we have a sliding tray as well, so everything's beautifully contained and making sure that there isn't any contaminants. The light is really a nice option right there. Really allows you to see all the details of the crystals and exactly what's happening in your machine. Especially if you're out in the field and you don't have very much light. So, let's go check out the other machine, see how we're doing over there. Yeah, let's let this one run. This is looking great. How long have we had the timer on on this one? A little over 10 minutes and we're almost there. If you take a look. Yeah, look at that. It's, and you still, look at that. It's not trimmed, it's not cut off, broken off. Man. The contours of your flower are all still there. The very important. The shape. All right. I'm sold. All right. So after we're done here, you just go ahead and turn the machine back on just for a minute. Open up your trap door there. And it's like a jackpot. You just scored. I mean, look at fire. that. This one's the Alchemist. This is the smaller, not the commercial one. We'll show you the commercial one later, but for right now, you'll see this one. Let's run this through it, can we? Definitely. Show me how it's done. Here you go. Awesome. We're going to take this beautiful grape OG that we got out of our 420 trimmer. And we're gonna load up this Alchemist here. We unlatch it, pull off one screen side. We're just gonna go ahead and dump this in. So what we like to do uh, personally is use a little dry ice. We have people who 
don't like to use dry ice, and we have people who like to use dry ice, so that really is a, a preference. I personally like pellet ice because I pulverize it. This is a little trade secret that I'm gonna fill you guys all in on. We pulverize dry ice, so as we introduce it to our machine, which is 100% stainless steel, drops temperature ridiculously low, below freezing level. So we use a food processor, make sure you have some type of port there, otherwise it'll explode. This is good info right here. So the whole objective really is to pulverize your dry ice to snow. So if you take a look at this, there's no chunks, no crystals, no big uh, things that are actually gonna destroy your product. Once we introduce this into your product here, within minutes it's gonna dissipate. And therefore it's not gonna beat up your product. So let's go ahead and sprinkle it in like snow. Get it in there. I mean, come on now. We have a lot of farmers that actually take product after it's been extracted and they'll use steam distillation. Terps are still present. If your product is still in great shape after it's been through the sifter, you're looking at an opportunity to really get even more out of your product at that point. So how long are we gonna run this bad boy for? I like to run it on average of about 12 minutes or so. 12 to 15 minutes, you're gonna get a full extraction of about 90 plus percent of the trichomes off of your product in there. So that's gonna leave you set up for pressing and, and rosin press, uh, Simpson oil, CO2 supercritical, edibles. Beautiful thing about this, it's just taking 100 pounds of trim and turning it into 10 to 20 pounds of heave. It's something that's very easy to store in your freezer rather than 100 pounds of trim. And it's actually capturing things at their peak. When you're using our harvesting tools, when you process your trim through our machine, when you process your flowers through our machine, you're capturing your flower at its peak. You're also capturing your trim at its peak. So therefore you're able to get all those trips that are left over on your trim and extract them here through this machine. We're trying to do that in the most delicate manner where we're gonna take off all those trichomes to leave that plant matter intact. And that is information, family, right there. That's good information, so thank you for that. Now, I'm looking at this one. This machine is really cool, but the commercial one, man, I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> that machine itself is just unbelievable. That's where you get quality meets quantity. For you to be able to do 10 pounds within the same amount of time as our 1,000 gram runs in this machine, you're looking at processing 100 pounds within a five hour time span. Phenomenal. I mean, come on, did you hear that? Can you repeat that? 100 pounds in less than five hours. I didn't hear you. 100 pounds in less than five hours. Bam! Bam I heard that one. I heard that. <laughs> so Brian, ex explain this easily so our viewers can understand exactly what's going on and show them how you know, efficient and how easy this process is. Most definitely. Let's go ahead and collect the 180 first. So first off, we're gonna undo these little fasteners and then on with the gold. Damn, look at that, Gina. I prefer paintbrushes. Anybody can use whatever preferred method of collecting. People use cards, people use scrapers. I prefer either food grade paintbrushes or whatever your method. So we got 130 micron, we got 180 micron. There's more product here because the screen is wider, so it allows more product to go through it. This is cleaner, tighter, allows less uh, contaminants really through, and more fine products, so more just the trichomes. Both of these, I can tell you right now, I can press and I can get amazing porosin out of both of these. I mean, the terpenes on this is really good product we ran through here, so I can't wait to press some of this. Fantastic, yeah. Just to reiterate, you're looking at a higher yield with a 180 micron screen. You're gonna push the 20 plus percent yield. You're gonna look between 10 and 20% when you're looking at the 130. It is gonna be a finer, final product, but depends on nothing your product. Wrong with that. Nope. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Nope. You might have bigger trichomes to need a 180 screen to come through. So it really is your preference and the beauty of our machine is you can change whatever you like. Put it there, there, pal. I love it. I can get down with it. Now, I wanna go smash it!